Hello and welcome to Hope Chest. In this video I'm going to give a short demonstration on how to use Hope Chest. Once you have it installed, go ahead and load familysearch.org. Sometimes the first time you load Family Search, the icon doesn't appear. Um, to show it, click the Reload This Page button. Now we see that it's showing um, in the right side of the address bar. Um, if you click on the icon, it will show a menu. However, this menu isn't very useful until you sign in. So I'll go ahead and sign in to Family Search. Once I'm signed in, you'll notice that uh, there are more items in my menu. The most useful item, um, the, the search capability, is used in the family tree. So I'll go ahead and load my tree. Once the tree is loaded, make sure that you are in the traditional view. Hope just only works in traditional view right now. So I'm in traditional view. Um, now I'm going to uh, search my ancestors. So I click this button. When I do that, this uh, select label message shows up. Um, and it asks me what label I want to apply to this search. Uh, labels allow you to organize your search results in different ways. For example, you may wish to uh, do a search and save the results with a name for a certain ancestor or uh, depending on what you want to do. Um, for this search, I'll go ahead and have it saved to uh, the inbox. This gear icon allows you to change your settings if you would like to before you do your search. The general options tab in the settings uh, allows you to specify which ordinance statuses you want to save. Um, in most cases you'll want uh, to keep the default of request ordinances. However, there may be times when you, uh, you want to search those that need a little bit more information and save them so that you can uh, do that um, research. What to save allows you to specify exactly what types of items you are interested in saving. Um, again, for the most part you might want to uh, keep the default settings. Um, but this can be useful for other things. For example, if if you were hoping to get, take a, a group of young women to the temple, um, then you might be interested in the baptisms and confirmations and females. So that would allow you to um, take those, uh, find those individuals that you're looking for. The date limit allows you to um, specify what birth years you're interested in. Um, I want to limit to the year uh, 1600. I'm going to click Save here. Uh, actually, let's go back in here to uh, show the labels. The Labels tab also allows you to add and remove labels. Um, if you remove a label that has items applied to it, then it will automatically apply the inbox label to those items so that you don't lose them when removing the label. Um, okay, so we'll go ahead and close this and click Start Search. Now you see the yellow box that is indicating that Hope Chest is examining this item to see if it matches our search criteria in the settings. Um, when it finds one that matches, it puts a green box around it, and it'll save it in what's called your hope chest. So I'll go ahead and open the hope chest. You can do that while your search is running. Uh, you can see my inbox right now has 305 items. Um, that's not from this search. That's from previous searches. Um, so uh, there are several features in your Hope Chest list. I, one is uh, the Actions column has a, a tree icon. If you want to open up the tree for this individual, you would simply click on that. It opens it up in a new tab. 
so that your search can keep going and you can uh, look at the individuals. So this individual doesn't look like they have any anything uh, we can do, but there are others. Um, I'm going to go ahead and close this person and go back to my hope chest. So this person, it looks like I've already done the work. Um, when you're when you're done with an individual, you you might want to check the box. Um, you can either delete them, that removes them entirely from the system, or you can apply a different label. So in this case, I, I'd like to apply the archive label. Um, and I'm going to remove the current label. The current label is inbox. So by clicking apply here, I'm going to apply the archive label and remove the inbox label. Okay, so when I do that, I now have 304 in my inbox. Um, if I go to the archive, I actually have a lot in there, but uh, uh, this 1608 includes the one I just archived. So I'll go back to the inbox. Now this uh, checks, checkbox column header allows me to check all of them at once in case I wanted to uh, clear out a list. I could uh, click the delete selected items and it would clear all these out. Or I might want to move them all um, to a different label. So let's say uh, I create a new label um, and I want to remove the current label which is the inbox and I'm going to click apply. So now my inbox is empty but my working items has the 304 entries that I just uh, reapplied the label. Uh, you can apply more than one label to entries, so uh, let's do that. I just checked the first entry here. I'm going to, let's say, apply testing 223. So I'm not going to remove the current label, which is working items. I'll click apply. Now, um, in the actions column, the, the little tag there, that allows you to see what labels are applied to uh, an individual. So that top individual has these two labels applied. Now if I do um, remove all of the labels of an individual, then you see the note here says the inbox label is automatically applied. Okay, so I removed all of those labels. I can click refresh. Now I only have 303 in my working items, though if I go back to the inbox it shows the one that I just removed the labels for, so it, it's kind of a way of uh, preventing accidental loss of items. So if I actually want to delete this, I need to select them and then click the delete selected items icon. Yes, I want to delete my one item and now it's gone. Okay, so uh, if I want to refresh the data um, that has the label applied to it, then I click the little refresh icon. So far my inbox doesn't have anything applied to it. I'll go ahead and close the hope chest, go back to my search, see how it's doing. Um, with these icons we can uh, we can control our search. So I just paused it. Um, we can see that it was on this specific couple. Um, one thing that's very useful is you can, uh, when you're doing a search, you can stop the search. And now you notice that uh, the search ancestors and search descendants icons or, or uh, buttons are enabled. Um, if you do have the yellow box on an individual um, and you click uh, search descendants, what that does, okay, so it's asking again which label. I want to start search with the inbox. That's now going to uh, reroute on that individual and search all of their descendants. 
So uh, that increases your likelihood of finding what you're looking for. So uh, you see the, the box turned green. So now I'm going to go back to my hope chest. My inbox now has that one that just got added for me. This has been a uh, short introduction to how to use Hope Chest. I hope this is helpful to you. Thank you.